our world faces some serious problems. One of the most serious is global warming. that the earth is getting hotter. Global warming is caused by greenhouse gases like CO2, methane, and water vapor. These gases are part of the atmosphere which covers the earth. They have to trap it which keeps us warm. We need these gases to stay alive. But you can't have too much of a good thing. If greenhouse gas levels become too high, we will trap too much heat and the earth will start to get hot. This is happening now. The main source of greenhouse gases is the burning of fuels for energy. Past factories, iPads, video games, airplanes, air conditioning, all of these make CO2 in huge amounts. Increasing temperatures lead to climate change. This means we will have more extreme weather, hotter and drier summers, colder winters, bigger storms. There's a lot of evidence to show that global warming is actually happening. This is the graph of global temperature and concentration of CO2 change from 1880 to 2004. The blue line shows the rise of the global average temperature, and the red and yellow line represents the carbon dioxide concentration recorded. And as we can clearly see, there is a direct correlation between the amount of CO2 and the temperature. Consequences of global warming are great. Climate change will alter reality. At best, only some people will die. The water level will rise, but all the killing people close to the sea. Droughts, floods, and diseases will hit us harder than before. Some species of animals will die, crops will fail due to extreme weather, and many people will die of starving. This is the least that global warming will do. There are two possible worst case scenarios. In the first scenario, the world gets colder. The temperature will drop a few degrees at first. Plants will die and crops will fail. People will start dying of malnutrition and starvation. As the world gets colder, more and more will starve. Eventually, the world will get too cold and people will start freezing to death. People will only be able to survive if they are lucky enough to find shelter. The second scenario is when the world heats up. It will start out with the melting of the ice caps. There will be less fresh water and most of our world will be below the sea. Diseases will spread across the world, driving in the heat and killing them. Aligning fast until the oceans are dry. Clouds will be acidic and rain will be as big. Runaway greenhouse effect will turn our Earth into a giant oven. Our planet would be like Venus. There will be no food left. The living will have no choice but to feed on the disease infested corpses of their neighbors. The survivors won't have long left to live. Eventually, Earth will become so hot that it's uninhabitable.
Now, if I tell you to stop driving cars or stop using iPads, you'll probably just dismiss it. I wouldn't be able to do that either. But small things can help too. And if everyone does it, we can make a big change. Use paper on both sides. Try and buy products that don't use much packaging. Set your aircon temperature at 20 degrees upwards. It consumes more energy to lower the temperature. Recycle glass bottles, jars, newspapers, and magazines and tin cans. Save them and take them to local recycling centers. Switch lights off when you're not in the room. So you see? So we might be able to change the situation. We have seen what's happening now. We have seen the evidence. We have seen what could happen in the future. We've seen what we can do to help, now it's up to all of us.